Before I begin, let me be clear that this video will have some of my own personal thoughts in it. You don't have to agree with what I say, you can believe anything you want, and if you think Butch Hartman isn't a bad guy after watching this video, then that's fine. He has created some amazing cartoons in the past as well, and I can't deny that. But when I talk about this new situation involving him, don't immediately feel pressured to agree with me just because I have a large following since I'm an average person like any of you, giving my own thoughts. But with that being said, Let's get on to the real topic. Butch Hartman, creator of Danny Phantom and the Fairly Odd Parents, had announced that he would be creating a new streaming network called Oaxis Entertainment. This would apparently change the game for the platform, and it would be completely different from the rest because of its family-friendly ideals. Butch released a Kickstarter in order to crowdfund this brand new idea, and his goal was set for $250,000. Throughout the entirety of the campaign, he was being extremely vague about the whole thing, but the reason behind that has been revealed and I'll talk about that in a bit. Anyway, he mentioned how he helped create your childhood, so he wants you to trust him with your future by donating to the project, showing us that he has an incredibly large ego. Just because you had two successful cartoons doesn't mean you created my childhood, Butch. He used these specific words to manipulate kids into spending money for this campaign because he really wanted to achieve the goal. Some people made nice videos about how bad Butch's Kickstarter was, going from the dumb descriptions of his new streaming platform to the terrible goal that show he has a big ego. There's no point in regurgitating what those guys have said, so if you want to see how bad the campaign was designed, I would suggest checking out some of Pie Guy Rules' videos about it. Fast forward to the final day of the campaign, and it honestly looked like Oaxis wouldn't be funded. He made the classic clickbait video of deleting this in 24 hours, and included Danny Phantom and the Fairly Odd Parents characters in the thumbnail to ensure clicks. In the video, he begged for some more donations to make his dream come true. He said that he just needs six hundred people to spend $99, which is already a lot of money, and he's asking for way too much. He also says that there's a ton more to come, but he'll be dealing with that at a later time. Keep in mind here that he's still being super vague. Then he says something like, if you can see it in your heart to donate, you would understand how special this project is, and he acts like he's helping to cure a disease or something. But nope, this is merely a streaming platform, it isn't going to save lives, but he's acting like it will when he says, if you see it in your heart to donate. Butch's goal was finally reached. Right away, there are some questions that should be asked. First of all, if this meant so much to Butch, why exactly could he not self-fund? I understand that $250,000 is a ton of money, but for a man like him who's been in the animation industry for a very long time with two extremely successful cartoons, he has to have some money that can be put into new projects. But instead, he took to crowdfunding because he knows that innocent kids and teens are going to follow him no matter what he does, so he wouldn't have to spend much of his own money. He almost definitely could have afforded to self-fund if he cared this much for Oaxis, but nope. Taking money from kids is just easier. Wow, guys, only $99 each for 600 people. That's so little. Oh my god. But when you think the situation can't get any worse, it does. Butch did a live stream of playing games and answering questions about his new family-friendly streaming platform. Someone asked what he thought of a Family Guy Oaxis meme on stream, and Butch replied by saying how you can't criticize him if you haven't been working in the animation industry. That's just wrong on so many levels, and he completely brings this viewer down. When the next completely different question is asked, on stream, Butch goes right back to talking about how it's dumb for people to criticize him since they never worked on cartoons. I can't show the footage here because he's been copyright claiming anything on YouTube involving him, but there's a tweet with what you need to see linked in the description below. And finally, we get to the cherry on top of this whole mess. The rise and fall of Nickelodeon tweeted out a video that was found of Butch talking about his true intentions with Oaxis Entertainment. Again, no footage can be shown here, but basically, he reveals how he wants to make this partly a Christian streaming platform. During this talk, he says how people love his work because they involve Jesus. He says kids are depressed because of entertainment, then talks about how depression didn't really exist in kids when he was younger, already showing us some red flags about the way he thinks. Then he talks about how he won't be making an entirely Christian streaming platform, but he does want to reach out to all those people who aren't too interested in religion, and maybe let them have a more open mind regarding Christianity. This is the reason he's been so vague about Oaxis all along. He knew that if the campaign or any Anything else mentions stuff like Christian values, less people would donate. Throughout the campaign, 
Butch has been incredibly vague, not giving us clear ideas on what Oaxis will become, and he just uses his fans to donate, acting like they're all rich and can afford to give a lot. He seems to ignore the criticism from anyone who doesn't work in animation, and overall, he just isn't the wholesome guy everyone thought him to be. I hope Butch can redeem himself. Everyone has the opportunity to change, and he is no different. Based on his past actions, changing how he looks upon things may be really, really, really hard, but it's still possible. He isn't the worst person ever, and he has made some awesome shows in the past, but his recent way of handling this new entertainment platform really wasn't good. Hopefully at some point he'll understand the wrong things he's done with all this OXIS stuff, and I can see him as a good person again. But for now, Butch really isn't the guy I thought he was. Anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and comment below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.